single-handed leaving the dock we got uh, you know little different conditions here uh, we probably don't need the Metessier tie off today because we've got a following wind here on the stern and we've also got a bit of current the tide starting to go out so everything is moving the boat forward you can see the stern line here is got some tension on it and my my forward spring line has got a bit of tension on it So I think the main takeaway here is, you know, when you're leaving the dock single-handed, you, you know, you're looking at the conditions. You can see there now that forward spring line even has almost, it doesn't have any tension on it. It's actually slack. Um, there was more tension on it a few minutes before. Um, so really this is almost a no wind, no current exit. So this is about as easy as it gets. Um, nevertheless, I'm, uh, I've got some pre-installed fenders on the dock, so I'm getting rid of the, the other ones that are hanging there that uh, could end up just hanging up on the pre-installed fenders. So I'm just getting those out of the way so the boat can have a nice easy time without getting hung up. Um, on uh, the pre-existing fenders. I'm undoing that last stern line there, um, just getting it ready to let go effectively, um, putting it aboard. I'm leaving it loosely wrapped. That's going to be the last one that I let go. So I've just kind of laid it in the cockpit. And now I'm doing the forward spring. And you can see Again, the telltale there is the boat's not moving at all. You know what? So we're we're in good shape. The boat's not moving at all. And as we come to the stern, you can see that stern line also doesn't have any tension on it as at all either. So because I have starboard prop walk, I'm just going to pull the stern. I'm going to suck the stern into the dock before I put it in reverse. So I'm just going to manhaul the boat, the boat over. You can see me here. I'm just pulling it, and you can just see the stern, you know, sucking in just a bit. I'm getting it ready to put it in gear there now. And now I'm just pulling the stern in, which makes the bow go to starboard. With my starboard prop walk, when I engage it, the transmission in reverse, it's going to pull the stern to starboard. So I'm just letting the boat move to stern. Now I've got it in reverse. I'm giving it a short burst, and you can you can already see the stern starting to move slowly to starboard, ever so slowly. Give it a short burst and then, okay, put it in neutral, let the boat coast out of the slip. Just, you know, nice and easy. A little more in reverse, another burst. And then, you know, back in neutral, let it slide out nice and slow. You know, don't be in a hurry, you know, take your time. Um, watch how things are unfolding it's almost like you want to go at about half the speed as you would think you would you know you should go uh, so super slow um, so there's another another little burst and just back in neutral and then you can see the boat is just 
Pudging its way out of the slip. I got good clearance from the dock. I got good clearance to the boat. And just moving slowly backwards. So here now, I'm going to put the wheel all the way over to port and give it a burst of forward to skid the stern to starboard. See there, I'm in forward. I got the wheel hard over to port. I'm skidding the stern to starboard. And then when I'm at about a 30 degree angle here or so, I'm going to got it in reverse now and the stern is moving. There you go. So I've got to get enough speed with the boat going in reverse for the rudder to be able to counteract the prop walk. So there you go. I've got enough speed now starting to center the rudder because I've got enough speed now where the rudder is actually grabbing. And I'll just stay center of the fairway in reverse. The trick is, is to engage reverse at a bit of an angle so that the boat has a chance to pick up speed before the uh, you know the rudder starts to bite. So I'm more or less center of the fairway. I've got good control. You can see here there's there's very little wind. I think there's a very slight current. It's just after the high tide, but I'm basically clear now. So I'm I'm out. I'm clear and I can more or less do just about anything I want here. I'm going to put it in forward and, and then skid the stern to port. Yeah, here I go, going in reverse and, or sorry, in forward, and then I'm going to skid the stern to port and I'm away. Enjoyed this video? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. See you next time.